What's up guys, welcome back to another video. This is my first year with Gateway Disc Sports and I'm really excited to show you what's in my bag. Start off with the putters. I've got one mold. I throw the Warlock and I putt with the Warlock. So I've got these two for throwing. I've got a nylon glow, which is kind of like hyzer flipped flat or throw it flat and it turns. And then I've got this diamond, which is overstable. I can throw it on little flex shots. I can throw it hard on a hyzer and it'll hold it. This is kind of my go-to for just driving putter, and this is more my go-to for approach or just wood shots. Next up is the Coffee Blend Warlocks. These are what I putt with. I don't throw these at all. They're kind of firm, not too firm, but they're very consistent feeling in my hand. It's not very flexy. Good grip on them, and they smell amazing, so that's a plus. Next for the approach discs, I keep the Devil Hawk. I've got two Devil Hawks. This is an NXT Glow Devil Hawk, so it's super beefy. I can throw it forehand, backhand, just on little flex lines. Always comes out of it, super consistent. Almost zero glide on this disc, so I can really trust it in any wind. Then I have the Super Glow Devil Hawk. This is a baseline plastic, so it's beat in. It goes a lot straighter than the NXT Glow, and it has a little more glide. It's kind of beat in to giving it more glide, I guess. I can really trust it on a forehand, backhand. This is more of my go-to Devil Hawk when I'm really just approaching. That one's more for wind. This one is really what I reach for most of the time. Next, we'll go to the mid-ranges. I've got four different molds of mid-ranges. We'll start with the understable. I keep a Mystic in the bag. The Mystic is almost a utility disc for me. I can throw it basically like that and it flips and then just holds to the right. I throw it in the woods or get out of trouble situations. I really like the Mystic. I think it's a good disc for any skill level, but I don't tend to throw it too much. Whenever I do want to throw it though, it always surprises me with how far that it goes and how consistent it is just getting to the right. Next are my elements. I really like the element. Uh, this one is a hyzer flip to flat or uh, throw it flat and it just turns the whole flight. It's not near as flippy as the Mystic, but it is very flippy, so I don't throw it in wind. It's more just a woods disc. Then we have this element. This one's brand new. This is the Diamond Hemp Plastic, which is one of my favorite plastics. I can throw it on a hyzer, and it'll almost flip to flat, but it has a little more stability. I can trust it a little more. If I throw it on an ante, it'll kind of pan out at the end. It doesn't flex, but it does have a little more stability at the end than that disc does. It has a ton of glide, and I can get a ton of distance off this disc. I've never thrown a mid-range farther than I can throw the element. And then I have a Prophecy. This is also in Diamond Hemp. This is a somewhat overstable mid-range. I can throw it on little flex lines, and it'll have a little bit of fade. If I throw it hard and flat, it'll hold straight for a long time and then fade out at the end. Really good disc really consistent disc. I can trust this in a lot more wind than I can the element. And then I have a Warrior. I really like the Warrior. It's a good bit more overstable than the Prophecy. Still has really good glide on it though, so I can throw it flat and it kind of dumps out at the end. I can throw it on flex lines. I tend to throw this on forehand a lot if I need like a forehand approach from like 275 to 300. The Warrior's a really good disc for that slot. Next we'll go to the Fairway Drivers. I've got four different molds in this. We'll start off with the slower speed. I've got a Blaze. The Blaze was a disc that I didn't know if I was gonna like at first. Uh, when you first get them, they're kind of overstable and they don't have a ton of glide. I started throwing it on kind of just hyzers or flex shots. And then now that it's beat in, it gained some glide and it's really good for just that dead straight shot. It's a really good seven speed. It feels really good in the hand. And now that it's gaining some glide, I'm really starting to see that flip up and starting to see that straight finish. It doesn't really fade at the end, which I really like. Blaze, it's it's an underrated disc and I'm, I've learned to really like it. Moving on up, we have the Assassin. The Assassin is a disc I don't really pull out too much. It's kind of like a longer version of the Mystic. Throw it on a hyzer, flips, and holds the whole time. Whenever you need a disc to go right, it's a really good disc. When I don't feel good with the forehand, I can really pull out this and it kind of has that forehand-esque flight to it. Throw it on a hyzer, Flip, hold to the right the whole time, and you get crazy good distance out of this disc too. I think this is a disc that beginners can throw, pros can throw, everybody in between can throw. I think you should have an assassin in your bag. Next to my favorite fairway driver, the Diablo. I've got three of these. We'll start off with this one. This was a gift from Nico, so he had this one for a while, and it's super flippy. Hyzer, flip, 
to flat and then a little bit of turn. It has a little more fade at the end and that Assassin does, so I can trust it a little bit more. It's also, I feel like, not as glidey as the Assassin, so I can trust it in a little more wind and stuff like that, but Diablo, really good disc. This one's very flippy. Then I have this Diablo. This one, Heiser flips to flat and then just goes dead straight. It's like a longer version of that Blaze now. Tons of glide on it, so I can really get some really cool lines. I tend to throw this one more than any of my other Diablos because it's still got a little bit of stability at the end, but it can go really far. The last Diablo in the bag, this one is almost a blade. It's pretty overstable. I can throw it on flex lines and I can throw it, you know, flat and know that it's going to fade at the end. Just has a ton of glide to it, so it goes a lot farther than your typical, like, super overstable fairway. So it's got that dome and it just pushes straight for a long time before it dumps. Really good disc, I can trust this one in wind. And then I've got two blades in the bag. This one right here, I throw a lot on forehands. I can really trust it, I can throw it hard and it just goes straight forever before it fades. So it's not like super overstable, but it is overstable and I can trust it in wind. And then this one is my meat hook. This thing is super beefy. I can throw it on any line and it just fades out fast. This was a gift from Alan Wagner, so shout out to wags because this is one of the best blades I've ever thrown. I can throw it like this on a forehand and it fades out. I, I mean, great disc to have in my bag. I can trust this in any wind situation, any kind of shot. I throw it on spike kaisers, I throw it on flex shots. This is one of my favorite discs in my bag. Just super trustworthy blade. Go get a blade. Now we'll go to the distance drivers, kind of. We'll start off with the spirit because this is not really a distance driver for me. This is a straight utility disc. This is one of the most overstable discs that I've ever thrown. I can throw this disc like this on a backhand, like on a straight roller line, and it's just gonna flex out of it. Just super beefy, really overstable, and it's it's got one of the best hand feels. It's very shallow. I guess it's hard to actually tell. Super shallow, and it just feels great in my hand because I have smaller hands. I can trust this disc in a 50,000 mile an hour headwind, and it's gonna come out of it. it is, such a good disc. It's a good skip disc, good utility disc. Throw little flex forehands with it. I think I would be lost without my Spirit. So Spirit's one of my favorite discs. Go get a Spirit if you need a really good utility disc. Real distance drivers. I've got three molds. So we'll start off with Understable. I've got the Ether. I tend to only throw this on forehands or backhand rollers. It's pretty flippy. It's not like super, super flippy, but if I throw it on a forehand, it'll stand up and just go straight and then fade out. It's one of the farthest flying forehand discs that I've ever thrown. If I throw it on a backhand, just throw it on a little bit of an angle and it'll just hit that angle and go forever. So ether, great disc. And then my main backhand distance driver discs are the rim. This rim is pretty flippy. Throw it on a hyzer, flips, kind of holds for a while before coming out. This is probably my max distance disc. I tend to reach for this. Anytime it starts to push over four, I'll start to reach for the rims. I can get this one out pretty far. I can really trust it on those 450 or more holes. I can really throw it hard on the hyzer and know that it's gonna have that stand up. It's got really good glide realm. And then this is another realm. This was a first run realm, so it's a little bit more overstable. It kind of fills the spot between that realm and a spell. So it's got a lot more glide than the spell does, but it still has that stability. So I can really trust it. If I throw it on a hyzer, it'll have a little bit of a stand up where I can throw it on little flex shots. It goes really far and it holds up in wind better than that room. And then last but not least, the spell. This one is mostly forehand only for me. It's got really good glide and it's not as overstable as this spell. So I can really trust it because my forehand's not as powerful. I can throw it hard and flat and know that it'll go straight and fade. Throw it on little flex lines. Great feeling disc. This one's a little bit flatter too. This is a Galactus Glow one. So I really, really like it because Galactus is one of my biggest supporters, one of my biggest sponsors. He loves the glow plastic. I do too. So I really like this spell. Usually if you see me throwing a controlled forehand, it's with this disc. And then lastly, this NXT spell. This one's pop top and it's pretty overstable for a spell. I can throw it on flex lines and it'll fade out. I really like this run of them because I think it's more overstable than the other spells that I've tried. And I can really trust it in wind or hyzer situations, anything that you need to get, you know, pretty far out there, but still fade.
couple of the other things I keep in my bag. Uh, I keep my Bryant bag. This is my tour series from last year. I really like the Bryant bag. It's made out of natural clay and it, it honestly works better than any bag on the market. So I really like to have my Bryant bag on me. I've got some extras in there just in case I was to lose them. And then I keep my Lucky Minis. This is a Bryant bag mini with my signature, my signature turtle, my PGA number. And then this one just says Team Bryant Bags. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm excited to be throwing Gateway this year. I think they make some of the best discs on the market. They're very consistent and their plastic literally lasts forever. I'm really enjoying the feel of it. This NXT plastic is just really good. It's got that good firm feeling, but it still feels like quality plastic. It's not just that hard plastic that I don't that I don't like. So appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'm going to be trying to post more YouTube content this year. I know I say that every time, but I really am going to be trying to post more YouTube content. Be sure to follow me on Instagram where I do actually post a lot of content. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.